Hello YouTube, Fuzz here, and in today's video of Final Fantasy XII, I'm going to show you how to get the Imba Mesa Blade. It's a very, very powerful blade, especially for your Foe Breaker Shikari job combo, and you'll just literally be slaughtering your way through your foes, as you can see here with Balthea. So if you want to find out how to get this powerful weapon, stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay, so this weapon is a bizarre recipe. We'll need to farm some other items beforehand. The first we need to get is the Coel Whisker. We need two of those. And you can get those from Grim Alkin by stealing them. I do recommend though, because I've already done a video on this, that you go and watch how to get this item from Grim Alkin, since once you've killed him, he no longer spawns again. And he only appears when you're on the Hunt Club quest. So go a couple of videos back where you'll see the Grim King video, watch that and I'll show you how to get the Coral Whiskers. Again, you need two of those. Right, so once we've got our two Coral Whiskers, the other two items we're going to need are the Sickle Blade, of which we require two, and the Cancer Gem, of which we require three. Now fortunately, both of these items can be collected from the same fiend, and I'm going to show you how to do that, but you're going to need to make sure you can poach. And if you don't know how to use poach properly, then please check out my last video where I went ahead and actually did a quick tutorial and ha on how to use poach because it can be frustrating unless you know what you're doing. Once you know what you're doing with it, it's dead easy and you won't have any problems. But once you're ready, port over to Giravagum and then just head back towards the Feywood and we're going to make our way through the snowy areas to where the praying mantis creature spawns, which is... <laughs> Uh, the enemy that we're going to need to both steal from and poach for the cancer gem and the sickle blade. Ah, is that one? Yes, so what we need to do here is very carefully not attack because we don't want to be killing these guys. What we do want to do is steal from them and poach from them. So I'm going to just set up my gambits briefly. We're going to first of all steal and just turn everything else off. Right. Uh, this, make sure that Pinello's not going to cast Scathe and I'm just going to make sure that we're ready to poach again afterwards so we'll put that on and make sure you have a Suna and anything that's going to be moved blind off if you're going to be using my poach technique and we'll turn this off as well so first we're going to try and steal make sure that Balthea has the Thief's Cuffs or whoever's your stealer in your case and we get a Dark Crystal on this occasion, unfortunately, which isn't the uh, item that we needed. I think it's Cancer Gem is the item that you steal, and Sickle Blade is the item that you poach. So we're going to go ahead now and turn Poach on, which means we need to turn Balthea's Steel off. And remember, for Poach, we do need to get into HP Critical Status. The enemy, that is, needs to get into HP Critical Status. And using the little technique I showed in that last video, you can do just that. So there's blind. And what did we get on that occasion? Did we even get the poach off then? I didn't see, to be honest with you. Let's make sure that nobody else is doing anything that's going to attack. We do not want any kind of attacks here. Redas, his gambit are off, that's fine. No attacks. Uh, Bash isn't in the party. Okay, you're poaching. Okay, so there's no attacks. So let's just try and steal first of all on this next one. Hopefully we'll get one of the items that we need here. A dark crystal we get. Oh, cancer gem, brilliant. So I've got all three of those now. So what we're going to do at this point is just poach basically. Poach, poach, poach until we get the uh, sickle blade that I need. Remember, you need to. I've already got one. So we get another cancer gem, which I don't need. <coughs> and get that poached. I'm getting insect husk. Don't need that. Another insect husk. Don't need that sickle blade here. Another insect husk. Thank you so much for giving me the items I don't want. And another one. Wonderful. But at least we can keep up the automatic poaching now, basically. So we're just going to speed things up. And just hunt around for some more of the Fane Mantis enemies. There's one. 
Tusker. Another insect Tusker. Oh dear, dear, dear. Don't need you. Another insect husk. Goodness me. Oh, I finally got a sickle blade after about 20 poaches or so. Uh, so that's the second sickle blade that we need. Well, that was annoying, but that's a good job, really. We've got that bit of technique set up with poaching so that we can just poach pretty much automatically as we just go through this place. Makes things a lot easier. You haven't got to mess around trying to equip lower level equipment and all that kind of stuff that's just going to be really annoying. It's just an easy way of doing it. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to head over to a bazaar now, and we should have everything we need to craft our powerful Mesa weapon. Right, so once you've got to any vendor, it doesn't matter which one, you're going to sell those items that we've just collected. So go on to loot. We're going to sell the cancer gem. You're going to need to sell uh, three of them, I think it is. But I'm going to sell all four, may as well. Sickle blade, two. And the coil whisker, also two, of course. And then new bizarre goods become available. And it says Serpent Blade. It's 90,000 gil. So I think we can manage that with my 12 million. If you need any gil, then please do check out my gil farming video. You'll be able to make millions very, very quickly. Find that in the playlist. And there you have the Mesa, or the Mesa. And that's a Ninja Blade. So I'll show you where it is. It's fantastic, by the way, for the Foe Breaker Shikari job combo. And if we go onto the license board, there it is. It's with Yagyu, Dark Blade, and Misa. Okay, so that's the one you want. Hopefully you didn't block yourself off by learning the wrong quickenings on that board. I'm sure you didn't. Uh, but once you've uh, learned that license, then you can go ahead and equip the weapon. Let's go and see what kind of destruction we can unleash with it. Okay, so right now I've set Balthier up as the only one who's going to attack. I've given him the Misa, which by default has a very high chance of comboing, which is what's so good about this weapon. And equip that with the Genji Gloves, which also gives you a chance of scoring multiple hits. Then you just get a recipe of disaster for your foes, basically. And especially if you, uh, you know, are on bosses or whatnot. And so you go ahead with Expose as well. You're just going to be literally obliterating your, uh, your foes. This guy's obviously got high defense, but doesn't stand a chance. We're just decimating everyone. And as you know, this is quite a strong area in the Greatest Deadlands. That's why I've come here. Let's see if we can find a tough enemy. Sometimes you get one of the purple elementals around here. Which have about 50,000 health. Be interested to see how long it would take Balthier to take care of that thing by himself. I'm not seeing it though, unfortunately. But yeah, you can see the kind of damage that we're doing here. Even though it's not the oh there it is look even though it's not the strongest thing weapon to use uh, in terms of its single damage because it often combos and gets three or four hits going off at once you'll be doing tons of damage and as I say on bosses where you cast expose you're going to be just literally obliterating through the foes look at this those elementals, which are really tough normally, it's just dropping really quick. I didn't even cast Expose at all on this guy. Normally very resistant to physical damage, but a nice 5k experience there from Balthia Solo. So yeah, you do want to have a look at getting this mate. So it's a great weapon for your Foe Breaker Shikari job combo. And coupled with some other abilities, it can even make bosses drop very, very quickly which is what you want to be seeing, especially later on in the game. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has, let me know in the comments and come back soon for more Final Fantasy XII. And um, we're going to carry on with our walkthrough as we go forward. Cheers all, take care.